We have since learned that a computer system automatically stopped the countdown with just minutes left. Scott is following all of those details and when we could see another launch attempt. With a few issues run down and fixed, Starliner's astronaut test mission countdown was going well until... Hold, hold, hold. Approximately T-350. In terminal count under four minutes to launch, a ground system computer for the ULA Atlas V rocket put the clock on automatic hold. A card failed in one of the three redundant computers that control some functions at the pad during launch, like releasing umbilical hoses and bolts. But with an instantaneous launch window, that meant Starliner was not going to fly. The ULA team now safing the vehicle. And ready to uh, proceed with a scrub crew egress operation. As they entered just a few hours earlier, NASA test astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams unstrapped and climbed out of the Starliner spacecraft. You know, it's disappointing. Uh, everybody's a little disappointed, but you, you kind of roll your sleeves up and get right back to work. And those getting right back to work is a team from ULA of about a half a dozen people accessing that computer out on the launch pad, but only when it's safe to do so. What will happen next is to gain physical access to that computer and determine why that occurred. We can't get in there until we're done re you know, defueling the rocket, which is followed by making sure there's no stray hydrogen inside that building. There's a launch window Sunday afternoon at 12.03, but it all hinges on how quickly the ULA team can get in, determine the issue, and fix it. If Starliner does not launch Sunday, there are more opportunities on June 5th and 6th. At the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.